what's up everybody, Random Rider here, and we're passing the NASA Coliseum, which is over there. Um, which, I don't know what happened with the whole project for it to get redone. I think that didn't pass, but uh, it's going to go happen anyway, privately. I don't know. Anyway, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, and that's okay. This is some wind noise. How's this? Is this better for wind noise? I look stupid, but... Um, Anyway, we're on Hempstead Turnpike, which is a road that runs uh, east to west. This is some crazy wind noise. I don't know if I said it right. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know how it's working with the mic. But uh, it runs east to west. It doesn't run all the way east. It runs pretty far west. And uh, the thing about it is, it's kind of an annoying road as you go west, and we're going west, so it's going to be kind of an annoying road. It doesn't line up right. Um, uh, hopefully you'll see what I mean. We got this big turn here for no real reason. But that lines up. The road itself just isn't a very good road in terms of lining up. Certain street lights, what, the lane you're in, the middle, the dividing lines, the white markers, don't match up. So you constantly got like, uh, meander to the right and to the left and everything. I don't know if I'm going to catch any of that on camera. I don't know how far it'll be. But, uh, it's weird. I don't understand why they did that. I don't understand why this truck has to turn at negative two miles an hour either. Even in my car, I don't turn that slow. Here, you can kind of see, it doesn't, I actually, it does line up here. That's impressive. But uh, we're going to get to a section of it where it just doesn't line up. Also, the road is crap. They fixed it up a bit, which is nice. But really, it's, it's cracked up. There's bumps and everything. People, pedestrians just have no regard for their own safety. Like that person. And here's an example. You can see this line does not meet up with those lines over there. So you kind of go like this to meet. Um, now the turns like this, no big deal, the bends, it happens. Um, but we'll get to it later on, hopefully on camera, we'll just see what I'm talking about. I think this road right here is an example of that. But um, also on the on the right here a bit, I saw the, uh, the clothing I call, you know, um, riding clothing. Basically writing, not riding. Um, the stuff where it has writing on their, uh, on the, on the clothes somewhere. It's typically a girl thing, unless you have like a clever slogan, like a uh, trust me I do this all the time shirt, which I have. But here you go, uh, it doesn't line up that well. That's a good example. Uh, but anyway, uh, a girl was walking down the street and she had like writing right on her ass. Here's another example, it doesn't line up. Um, and, you know, it's typical, you see that in, uh, with like certain things, let's say the word like juicy or has a lipstick on it. Um, or um, it'll say pink, which I don't know why it says pink, when, especially when the pants not pink. If it's pink, then sure. But if it's not pink, why say pink? Um, what else? Anyway, it's like written right on their ass, so you gotta look at their ass to read it, and I'm sorry. If I see writing on clothing, I'm going to read it. It's just what I do. It's kind of like, I think, the whole reason they put it there, so you, so you read it. But you look like such a perv when you're reading these pants. Um, and it's also on the shirt when it's like right on their uh, right on their chest, and it says stuff like you know, lip smacking or you know, pink or juicy again or princess or whatever. And I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's in these girls getting annoyed like people are just checking me out. Well, yeah, you got writing all over your body. If you have writing on your body, I'm gonna read it. I mean, I have shirts that have writing on it, usually with stupid sayings, like, trust me, I do this whole time, or, um, it's only funny until somebody gets hurt, but it's hilarious. Uh, and when I wear those shirts, people are going to read them. I don't get upset. It's not like they're just checking my body out. Maybe, baby, <laughs> but I doubt it. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, you know you're wearing a shirt that's, or pants that's going to attract attention to you. Uh, why... Why, uh, why get upset when people start looking at you? Uh, this is another example of the road, by the way. It, like, doesn't, it kind of meanders weird. It doesn't fully match up. Anyway, 
that's just my little rant. I, I don't get it. And then they, they are always like nine times out of ten, at least in my experience, when I see them complain about it, they always got like this attitude. Like, how dare they read the clothing that I'm wearing? It's like, well, how dare you wear clothing that requires me to read it? Um, even if it's just a logo, like Echo or Guess or something like that, I'm going to look at it. That's the whole point of wearing a shirt like that. If you don't want anybody to look at your shirt or your pants, wear regular shirts and pants that don't have any writing on them. Even if it's a picture, people are going to look at it. A picture or a pattern, the whole idea is to draw your eye to it. So when you've got like a lipstick logo on your pants, like right on your ass or on your shirt by your chest, or if it's just pink or juicy or whatever, guess what? I'm going to look at it. That's just my fair warning. It's not because I'm trying to check you out. It's because you've got rioting on it. Um, and that's just the way it is. And it's not just guys, it's other girls too that are looking at it. So what is it, the guys are just hers but the girls are looking at the pants? I don't know. It's just weird and annoying because it's a trend that hasn't died yet. I thought it was going to die years ago. But they still have it and they still wear it. And now they kind of put it on the legs, which is less, I think, incriminating if you're looking at it because it's just the legs than the ass. But uh, either way, it's still, like, people are going to read it. And you're just going to have to accept that. So, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I guess, make that like a formal documentation of the fact that I'm going to read clothing that requires it to be read. And um, I don't know if you've been seeing these roads, but how you kind of constantly have to meander and swerve a bit to keep the, uh, keep the keep in your lane. It's like just from pro uh, uh, intersection to intersection, and it just doesn't line up. And there's no real reason for it not to line up. Anyway, that's it. That's my little ramble. Take it easy.